Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedi again. Today we're going to learn how to change the velocity of your MIDI performances using the change velocity function uh, in Pro Tools. Uh, this function is located in your events operations window and we're going to be starting that today. Now what is the velocity? The velocity is part of the MIDI message that tells your digital audio workstation and more specifically your virtual instrument, it tells that how hard or how soft you are playing the actual keys of the MIDI controller or um, the MIDI keyboard. Okay, so um, here I have a passage that I have recorded. It has eight notes. Uh, I played basically one by one for demonstration purposes. And if we double click on this passage or this MIDI uh, clip, we can see here's the eight notes on the piano roll. By the way, this is the MIDI editor window. And here we can see the eight notes, and we can see the velocities associated to each of those notes. Um, down here, there's a velocity area, and each one of these uh, vertical lines tells you the velocity of each note. So, for example, if you select this first note, uh, it's highlighted because it's selected, and then that line, that velocity line, or that velocity bar, uh, also gets highlighted. If you click on it, you can see it's set to 85. Um, now the one after that, 80. The last one, 101. You can also see there are velocity differences because the colors change a little bit. Uh, that's especially easy to note on the very last note. That's the highest velocity, at least from the passage. And you can see it's actually a darker shade of gray of red compared to the others. Now, how do we change the velocity of these? Well, um, if we click and highlight the notes to select them, so if, if you click and drag, you will select the notes. They're going to be highlighted. You can then go to your event, event operations, and from the event operations window, there's all these options here, and there's one that says change velocity. If you click there, Here's your change velocity function. So, first of all, what are we going to change? The note on, the note off, or just the note off? Well, we're going to do the note on. What is the note on? The note on message tells you how loud you press the keys of the controller. The note off is how loud you release those keys. In this case, um, sorry, how hard. Uh, we're going to change the velocity of the note on on. Why? Because that is the most audible effect, okay? How hard you press the keys of your MIDI controller or your MIDI keyboard. So you have some options here. Uh, the first one is set all to. Basically, uh, all the notes that are highlighted when you select the set all to option, you have a slider next to it that basically assigns the same velocity to all of those notes. And that velocity you can determine with a, with a slider. It can go all the way from 1 to 127. 127 being the loudest and 1 being the, so, the, the, the dullest. Okay, the, the one that is soft. Okay, so that's the set all to. Um, and by the way, 64 is the one in the middle, so that's kind of like a mid velocity number. Now you can also do add. If you add, what happens is you're going to add a certain amount of velocity to each one of these notes. So you can add all the way from 1 to 127, um, which by the way, if you have this selected to, let's say, 127, and your velocity is 101, you're not going to add 127 to 101 because the, the highest amount is actually 127. So it'll just cap all the way to the maximum, which is 127. But this basically adds a certain fixed number to every single velocity. So that's like racing them all in a uniform way, right? You can also subtract. You can subtract all the way from 1 to 127. Once again, if you subtract and you go past or below 1, it'll just stay there. You can go to uh, numbers that are uh, below 1, okay? You can go to negative velocities, if that makes sense, right? Uh, so that way, you could lower your velocities in a uniform way. So that's add and subtract. 
that adds or subtracts in a uniform way to your selected notes. Then you have scale. Okay, you can scale the velocities by a percentage. So if you do like 200%, that'll duplicate the velocity. So, uh, but you can also scale down or all the way to 400%. So that's another way of looking at that by scaling it. You can also change smoothly. And that'll tell you, you can change from 1 to 127 smoothly uh, while the time passes. Okay, so... Uh, that you can control with a curve. This curve tells you how steep you can actually, sorry, with this curve you can uh, control how smooth this change is going to happen. And the slider that it's next to the curve tells you how steep that line is. If you leave it default at zero, that's pretty much linear. But then you can go uh, plus 99 or minus 99 and that'll change how steep that curve is how smooth or how harsh that happens you can also do that with a percentage so if you like percentage just like we explained scale and then add or subtract you can also do change smoothly with numbers or with percentage now you can also limit limit two. Uh, this tells you it basically creates a range between mo uh, minimum and maximum levels that you can actually I change the velocity. So if you're out of this range, in this case, 1 to 127, everything is in between. If there's something that it's out of that, um, that won't get changed. And then you can randomize. So when you randomize, it'll basically... Uh, and randomize works as a percentage. You can go all the way from 0, which is pretty much having the randomize off, or you can go all the way to 100. Um, the randomize, what it does is that it takes a percentage of the notes that you have selected and it'll randomize their velocities following this percentage. Now for the purpose of this tutorial we're going to make it very very obvious and we're basically going to do set all two and we're going to set them all to 127. So we're going to make every single one of these notes be 127 uh, as far as their velocity values so they're going to be as loud and as hard as you can. Okay, so basically, if you were playing, let's suppose that this was a real piano, right? You, you had a real piano in front of you. If you could play at 127, uh, at a velocity of 127, that'll basically be like if you were playing every single note as hard as you can. Okay, so uh, once again, I'm going to click and drag to highlight them. They're now selected. They're, you can see they're highlighted. I'm going to select, uh, I'm going to change the velocity of the note on a message. Kind of set all to 127. I do not need any of the other options, and I do not want to randomize. Off. So if I press apply, check what happens. Every single velocity went all the way to 127, which is the loudest you can go. And you can see the notes are super dark red, meaning they're very, very loud. They are indeed 127 velocity value. So if we press play, it's going to be kind of loud, so watch out. Here we go. Okay, so one thing that is very important here. Uh, when you're playing something at 127, as far as the velocity... It's not only louder, but you're also creating more harmonics because this is a piano. Well, in this case, the virtual instrument that I have assigned is a piano. So when you play a piano and you play really loud, you're going to be creating some other harmonics that you don't necessarily hear when you play it soft. So let's give it a shot. Let's go ahead and select them again and set them to a lower value. So if I go to Event, Event Operations, Change Velocity. If I set them all to, let's say, 30 or 37, yes, it's going to sound uh, softer because the overall volume, the perceived volume is going to go down, but also it's going to sound duller because we're going to be exciting the piano differently. We're going to be creating less harmonics. So let's give it a shot. And apply. And as you can see, there are now... The red is kind of like pink now, meaning that it's uh, lower velocity. And let's go ahead and press play. Very, 
very obvious, right? It's not just, as I said, it's not just the volume that is lower, but also the overall tone. It, it is duller. Uh, it's kind of like less rich. You don't hear a lot of high frequency information. And that's because the velocity is lower. Now, this, this works like this because this is a piano right? This is a piano virtual instrument. But if you're playing like, let's say a string instrument, the same thing happens. It's not the same playing uh, a violin and playing it very softly than than actually playing it very hard. You're going to hear uh, the way the bow responds is going to be very different. So that's how you change your velocity from your operations window in Pro Tools. If you have any other questions, please call us from Obedient PC Audio Labs and we're going to be very happy to help you. We'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Want to learn how to produce music using this or using that or using all of these? Have you been watching videos, reading manuals, blogs, and trying to figure out everything that it takes to be a music producer? Do you have a bunch of music gear that you purchased and you still haven't made any music? Well then you need Obedia, the world's only one-on-one -on -one digital audio training and tech support service. Check out the link below for a special new subscriber offer.